So I'm out here on this bright sunny day, not so much, <laughs> at one of our new listings. Now, as you can see the development here, it's all townhouses. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you across the street as well, but this is the property right here. Now, this property is a three-story townhouse. You can hear the road just very lightly. There's not a whole lot of traffic. We are right here. Now, I'm gonna give you a view here though. It overlooks nothing. So it's a nice open viewpoint and it's on a corner lot. Now, the layout of this is actually amazing and if you, somebody who loves the kitchen, you are gonna die when you see this. So let's take a quick tour of this property. So here is the front right here. Probably gonna have to clean off my camera with all this rain. And as we come up into the property, you're gonna be coming in on the first floor. Now, this particular property, yes, it's a three story, but on the first floor, you actually have your main entry, which is right here. And you also have an office and a garage. So I'm gonna show you that. And before I do though, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this channel. If you're here right now, cause you're looking for everything, Charlotte, North Carolina, the ins, the outs, everything in between, good, bad, and indifferent, including South Carolina, you have come to the right place. I review everything from homes on the market to the areas you need to be looking into. So if that's you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you wanna stay on top of all the videos that I post, go ahead and hit that notification button. Now, I literally get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you looking to move to the Charlotte, North Carolina and South Carolina areas. So if that's you, be sure to go ahead and drop down into the description below. All my contact information is there as well as some really helpful links. Go ahead and check that out. Give me a call, a text, an email, whether it's nine days or 90 days from now. So let's jump back into this property. Really nice. I wanna go ahead and show you guys the first floor. So as you saw, we came in that front door right here and off to the right, we have this large office space. Now, one of the many things I love about this space, one, how big it is, look at that, double door entry. You could use this as a third bedroom. However, there's no closet, which means legally it's not a bedroom. But you get this beautiful French double doors that open out to the front. And then off to the right, which I'm gonna point this out, perfect spot to build in a drop zone whatever you want to catch all of your knickknacks as you come in from your two car garage. Now, I get this, I get this question a lot. Why is the garage not painted? So most builders do not paint the garage. In fact, most builders don't even put sheetrock or insulation on a wall that isn't touching an interior wall. So if it's just an exterior wall, they don't even sheetrock it. However, this builder did do that, which I am appreciative of, but they usually don't paint it. So don't expect a painted garage. If they did, it probably wasn't the builder. So let's head upstairs. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this property. So it is a two bed, which I know that one could be a bedroom, but it's not legally a bedroom. It's a two bed, two and a half bath home, 1,500 square feet with your main living area on the second floor. Now, the nice thing about the main living area on the second floor is you get so much light. Let me show you this. So we just came up those stairs. That's actually the half bath right there. And check out the size of this living room. What? Nice big windows, plenty of space. Now, right over here, they also, again, they're pre-wired for the Cat5 cable. They've got actual cable and outlets, so you're all set to set up your entertainment system. But let's talk about this kitchen for a second. <laughs> Look how huge this island is. Like, massive. This island has got to be at least, I would say, 10 or 11 feet long. That is humongous. They also made sure they made use of space. So you've got extra storage on the end here and plenty of room for bar stools. Now you could legitimately sit like six bar stools across here. I'm not even over exaggerating. Look how massive this island is. Keeps going and going and going. Now the rest of the kitchen also very usable. They went with the shaker cabinets on this. 
nine foot ceilings in this room here, which you can absolutely feel. Now the end cap, they again, they put in a little bit of extra space there and I'm gonna note they even put in an outlet. I'm somebody who likes the details. So something like an outlet in an alcove, that's perfect. That's some place where you can store items, perhaps put something that needs a charge, and it's not on your counter space. Especially being this island is so big, it could very easily collect things, and that's not something I like. So having all of the storage space off to the side is gonna be really helpful. It keeps it out, but not too out. So across from that, we have this nice little nook here where you could set up a laptop or do whatever you choose. Maybe the kids do homework there, or at least one kid at a time. And then we have a nice big pantry. Off to the end here, we have our dining area. And I'm gonna point out three windows. What? I love it. The walls are a dove white, almost gray color. And it's not so overly saturated with gray in this property. So this is your view outside. I know there's screens. That just gives you an idea, it's nice and open. The floors are a light gray, they are LVP. A little information about LVP versus engineered hardwood as we head upstairs to go take a look at the bedrooms. LVP is a, yes, it's a, it's a manufactured product, but it holds up far better than engineered hardwoods. See, engineered hardwood is technically a wood product. It's not, I know it says engineered, it's not hardwood, but it's an engineered wood product, which means it bubbles, it scratches, and it's not as resistant to pets. So if you've got pets or kids, go with LVP. So right now we are on the second floor. One of the bedrooms is behind me. I'm gonna show you this landing. So we just came up there. Here's our landing at the top of the stairs. We've got your washer dryer right up here. Now in the areas that we're talking about, North and South Carolina, washers and dryers follow where the bedrooms are or should I say specifically, the primary bedroom. If your primary bedroom is on the main floor, your washer dryer is on the main floor. If your primary bedroom is upstairs, your washer and dryer is gonna be upstairs. It just makes sense. So walking in here, we have the primary bedroom. This is right at the top of the stairs. One of the items I love in here are these high windows. So you could put your bed right underneath there. Coming over this way, we have our bathroom with dual vanities, hello. Nice enclosed shower unit. Now for those of you that maybe have kids or like a nice bubble bath, there is a bath in the other bathroom. We'll go see that in a moment. And then we're gonna walk right across this hall here to this other bedroom. This bedroom overlooks the front of the property. We are right over the dining room right now. We've got our closet in here. It's actually a really decent sized closet. And we have our bathroom. So there's the tub I was telling you about. One of the many things I like about this property is that they did LVP throughout except for the office and the bedrooms and the stairs. You're gonna have to fall down the stairs. In those areas, they went with carpet, and I really do appreciate that they went ahead and built LVP on all the main areas, especially upstairs in the hallway. We all know that gets run down. Another thing I'd like to point out, if you have a young family and you wanna be close to your little one, having them right there is gonna be ideal. So this property is located in the Shamrock, right off of Shamrock. So it's really close to Plaza, really close, to Noda, very close to downtown, and it's actually even pretty decently close to Cotswold. Cotswold is right over the way across Independence. So, what does this property come in at? Well, it's at $415,000. Now, it is available right now, which is fantastic. If you're interested in this property, check out my information below. Reach out, let me know, we can set up a tour. And you guys, you know how it goes, whether it's nine days or 90 days from now, looking across town or all the way across the world, give me a call, a text, an email, set up a Zoom with me, and I would love to make your move exactly what you want it to be. All my contact information is below in the description, and I appreciate you taking this tour with me. Until next time, I look forward to showing you around town.